Hello everyone, in this guide I will show you how to finish the Vexus Lab mini dungeon which is often needed for the Wizard's Vault daily and weekly reward. You can find the mini dungeon in Fireheart Rise map and the entrance will be around this area. The entrance to the dungeon will be right here in this cave part which is above the lava. You can go there with your mounts and you can also see some rock formation on the other side you can go up from. Once you are here you will find some panels leading to a portal. Wait for them to appear if you just want to jump and you can also use your mount to skip most of them. Once you are in, just keep making your way through, and sometimes before you progress to the next part, there will be an event you need to finish first. It's an easy event and you shouldn't have any issues soloing it. The event will consist of waves of mobs you need to fight, and then when you finish, you will find the veteran abomination to kill. When you finish the event, this gate will open and you can progress. This room will probably be the most confusing part of the mini dungeon. You will find some blue portals, those will be the entrance points you can go through and you will find some yellow portals this is where you will come out from from the entrance there are only two portals you can go through either this one or this one one of them will take you to the right place the other one will most likely kill you it always changes and it's never the same so you will have to test it yourself however if you ended up dying, you will most likely fall down on this blue ring. Try your best to land here and stay here because if you did, you will be auto rest and you will teleport at the beginning. If you fell down and died outside of the ring, you will have to be rested by another player or you will have to waypoint and repeat the part again. So now let's just test this portal together. It took me to this place and I can see there are two portals I can go to. I can go up the stairs and there is one portal here. And there is another portal on the side here you can also go through. Again, you will have to test it because it constantly changes. So let's try this one on the right side. And as you can see, I fell down to my desk, but I'm inside the ring so I will be auto rest. So now we know that this portal is the right one, so I will go through here again. But this time I will not go here, I will go to this one on the side instead. And this took me all the way to the end and I can progress. For this next part here, you will need to jump through until you make your way to the last room. The panels here, however, will disappear. And so one of the best things you can do is to try and move around those metal ends. Don't go through the middle where the panels will fall. You will also find those golem assistants running around. If they hit you, they will not do damage, but they will knock you off the platform. So having any skills that will give you some sort of stability will be incredibly important and helpful here. If you fell down, you can just go up the stairs again and try one more time. And now you will have the last room. Sometimes the boss will be up and you have to kill them first, or sometimes it will be already killed and you just go get the chest. Some of the attacks around here will also try to knock you off the platforms, and again, they will probably disappear. So you make sure you have stability, because again, this will be very helpful in this fight. If you fell down the water wizard because you got knocked off the platform or for any other reason you will find some ramps on the side you can just go up through just be careful with the sharks because they will try to kill you and once you defeat the golem and then vexa you can loot the end chest if you found this guide helpful please subscribe to the channel and give this video a like to see more guides in the future thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next guide